Welcome to Key Essentials, quick tips for animation on the web. In this video, we'll be covering how to do a revealing footer with position sticky. It's a super cool effect inspired by The Markup, a really great site with a lot of fun animated touches and a sleek layout. You should check it out at themarkup.org. To create this sticky footer effect, we have an article with some lorem ipsum, a couple of images, and a few little flourishes. There is some stylistic CSS up here to give us a few visual effects like the little borders, the backgrounds, and yes, I am using floats to get those images offset like that. Floats are still one of the main ways to get text to wrap around images. Even with all this stylistic CSS, the footer really isn't doing much, so let's get into making this a sticky footer. We'll add our essential CSS at the top here. First, we'll style the main with position relative, Z index 1, and a white background. These styles ensure the footer will be covered up when we get the sticky effect in place. For the footer, we only need to add position sticky and bottom 0. And then when we scroll down to the bottom, it gives the great reveal effect. Thanks to position sticky, the footer is fixed in place as we scroll and has been hidden behind the content this whole time. To finish off the effect, we can add a box shadow to the main and that's really going to help sell that layering effect as it reveals. If you're unfamiliar with position sticky, it's kind of a combination of position fixed and position relative. You tell the browser where you want an element to stick in place as you scroll. Browser support is pretty good overall, where this effect will work in most modern browsers. This is also a great progressive enhancement effect because if the browser doesn't support position sticky, the footer will simply appear static like we had before. Here's an example of Position Sticky by Preethi Sam, where it's keeping this element stuck 70 pixels from the top of the scroll container. Rachel Andrew has this great example showing an iOS-like sticky label, keeping these DT elements stuck to the top when you scroll. We also used Position Sticky to create a really cool animation on our Apple Watch scroll border episode. You'll definitely want to check that one out. Links for all of these examples are available below. And there you have it. With just a few lines of CSS, you've got a beautiful stuck footer that reveals itself from underneath the main content. Play around with Position Sticky and see what else you can make. Share some links with us, we'd love to see what you come up with. Thanks to Ethan Marcotte who originally shared the markup site with me. Check him out at ethanmarcotte.com. Also thanks to Chris Coyer who did a demo breaking down exactly how the markup did their footer with position fixed and a few magic numbers in margin bottom to lock it in place. If you want to learn more, definitely check out that article. The link is in the description below. This episode was sponsored by CodePen, the wonderful social development environment at codepen.io, and CSS Tricks, a great resource for anything web at css-tricks.com. You can find those links down below. This video is also made possible by our lovely Patreon supporters who contribute each month to help us continue making great content. Thank you all. You can join them in supporting the show at patreon.com slash keyframers. We also have some amazing web developer shirts, stickers, and more with beautiful designs available in our merch store at keyframe.rs slash merch. If you'd like to see more, check out our other videos on our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash keyframers. Thanks so much for watching. Adios, amigos.